thinking about winding these YouTube channels down, all of them. Maybe deleting them completely, maybe just neglecting them, or maybe like deleting 90% of the videos and leaving a few up. Not because I have nothing left to say, but rather because I kind of don't see video, especially YouTube, as the way forward anymore. So actually, as you know, I'm constantly banned from Twitter. And previously the way I was dealing with that is I was... Uh, I moved to Gab and then I started my own like website which is a forum and finally in the like the last month I joined Noster N O S T R notes and other stuff on relays Noster so this is a decentralized social network so it's running on basically similar type of technology as Bitcoin and BitTorrent so it's complete well not completely but it's to a very large extent censorship resistant it's so censorship resistant that i received death threats on there and i couldn't report them because there was nobody to report them to there's no noster company there is no noster website it's just a protocol that allows people to communicate like on the social network so we have this youtube here where A, everybody knows who I am, so like if I say something that the government decides is not okay, they're gonna come to my house, right? And B, also YouTube can just delete, and they have deleted many of my videos for any reason. So for example, when I was talking about vaccines, they said it was medical misinformation, and they just deleted my video, and they can do that anytime for any reason. Secondly, Editing videos is a pain. I used to edit videos, but now I just take a phone and speak because it's just a pain. And when you do, let's say, like a website, like on my website, it's much easier to edit. You write something, you made a mistake, you just, you know, five seconds, it's fixed. You can add a picture, replace a picture, whatever. It's just... I no longer feel like YouTube is like the way forward. I don't see like why I should continue like being on here. Like I'm not disappearing from the internet. Like I am gonna be still on the internet. In fact, maybe more than ever. And I cannot tell you like the addresses of like my website or like what my name is on the internet because I, I like to stay like more anonymous there than I am here. And that's actually why I want to move away from youtube is because i want to be more anonymous i don't want my face everywhere next to like oh like i don't want to show up to a job interview and somebody's like oh by the way is this you you know is that you talking about like the jews and shit <laughs> i don't want this like i want my face not associated with what i'm going to say going forward so i cannot tell you that I cannot tell you where to find me on the internet in terms of like my actual address, like this is me. But I can tell you that you should be on Noster, which is again N O S T R, notes and other stuff on relays. Like uh, it's very small right now, but it's pretty exciting in part because of the freedom and in part because the people there are really smart. Like I was talking to a guy there who's like a software developer. And he actually has higher IQ than me. So, like, it's not very often that I, like, get to talk to somebody who has a higher IQ than me. But on Noster, like, half the people have higher IQ than me. And I'm, like, borderline genius IQ. So, <laughs> it's a really cool place. Like, you should... It, it's, like, half of the people there are software engineers. And, like, very high-level software engineers. Like, Jack Dorsey is on there. Like, I actually spoke to Jack Dorsey personally on Noster. So uh, Dorsey, of course, is the, the guy who founded Twitter. So the Noster is actually his favorite website. He founded Twitter. He got kick, kicked out of there. He started his own uh, website called Blue Sky, but he doesn't like that one either. And he's probably going to get kicked out of that one too. And his actual favorite personal website is Noster, <laughs> where I talk to him. So I invite everybody to join Noster. We need more people. There's a, like a lot of young people there, a lot of software engineers, but also a lot of Nazis as well. 
no, not a lot, like maybe like a hundred. You know, it's a very, very small site. They claim to have like a 300,000 users. Uh, I doubt there's even 10,000 users in there. But what, uh, you know, they lack in quantity, they make up in quality. And so that's where I'm gonna be. You're not gonna know who I am, but even if uh, you don't find me, you're gonna find other people who are also cool. And on Noster, I have a link to my website. So again, you're not gonna know it's me, but you might find it and find something interesting in there. And like I said, I'm not sure I'm gonna actually delete my YouTube channel. So what I'm gonna do with them, what I'm saying is that I just don't see the future of YouTube or video for that matter. I want to transition to more like uh, the kind of format that can be supported by independent distributed type of uh, systems like Noster. Like Noster cannot handle video because it's uh, very like you need big centralized like uh, you know data centers like YouTube has to support the kind of like video I'm making right now. And it seemed like a cool idea like maybe 10, 20 years ago, but I don't see this as the future anymore. I see this like as the same kind of handicap as cable TV used to be, where you think like, oh, wow, this is amazing. I can watch like high definition video, blah, blah. But actually that just centralizes the power in the hands of whoever has the biggest servers, which would be Google in this case. So like the monopoly of like cable, that cable used to have now the same monopoly YouTube has through Google and Alphabet so I want to move away from that I want to move to something distributed uh, like Noster and for that I would have to move away from video as a format and towards something lighter that's mainly text oriented 